is King Julian Mama Kishman. Hello, and with me is my friend Mauricio. And today we are going to have the very special jungle banquet. Yes, in order to start the party, we need to be party heartily with food. Yeah. Welcome, New York Giants. You come at an opportune time. We are preparing a veritable feast. I wonder if people that don't like mushrooms, pineapple, watch football or anything like know what that's a reference to. But we have none of these things. That is why we call on our industrious. Oh people. yeah, I'm Cedric the Entertainer. If he smoked a million cigarettes. See, the lemurs won't do shit. The feast is that up. When the Fusa attacked, our food supplies were kind of wiped out. It's always something. Well, this should be Y'all just got right? here. Who needs food? You can help greatly with some basic foraging. That sounds dangerous. Then would you consider collecting fruit and vegetables instead? That will do. There it's we go. Settled, then. So yeah. Now, remember what I Use mentioned. Use the totems to switch between you and your three friends. You have each different abilities and can finish different tasks. Oh, one more thing. If you would like advice on where to look for the banquet items, you can return to me and I'll try and help you out. That would be very nice. And hello, now we're Gloria. Hello there, lady. Um, alright, so... This episode, this episode, this level is very different than any level that we have been to before. Because this level actually takes a more Mario 64 approach to things. This level is open-ended. There's, it's not a get from point A to point B thing. It's a simply just go around as every character and get all of the collectibles. That's literally it. It's a collect-a-thon level. There are one of two, this is one of two collect-a-thon levels in this game. And as you can see, there are collector cards for at least two of the characters. How do we get to Gloria's? Is we gotta use the bounce. Also, you can see there's just one of those just right up there. Isn't that isn't that fascinating? I forget how we actually get that one, but you know we we will see. Since we are Gloria first, I suppose that we can. Oh, man, why did they have to tell us food was coming so? <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. All right. Um, and now, these asshole birds that were being a pain in the ass to us before, now, they're the enemies. Which I don't really understand. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, as you can see, there'll be an arrow pointing to where your next objective is for whichever character you decide to play. In this case, Gloria's cards lead us to this area, surrounded by carrots. And now, since every fucking move with Gloria has to do with her ass, now we have the hip check. I don't know what's so different about that with, you know, her other assy moves, but I suppose it's a better way of attacking these regular enemies. Even though we it causes to slide a lot, but at least most of the attacks in this game are homing. Um, in order to get started with our first task, we need to talk to this fat shit lemur. growing in this garden, all right? But these nasty little moles like to uproot the plants before they're ripe. I need they're legit Monty moles. The by smashing the moles when everyone surfaces, all right? I can get with that. Cool! Show them your butts the boss and some of the fruits or vegetables of your labor will be yours! <laughs> dick? Hope so. He can. Good luck, Gloria. Just right. call me a dick. So yeah, we legit got a whack-a-mole. Somehow I got that one. But yeah, if you want to use the hip check, you can use the hip check. Since it's locking on, you know, it'll be pretty easy to do. So this level is basically just minigame centric, you know? If you like the minigames in this game, I mean, they're not really mini, like, legit minigames. Okay, why am I going across the entire plane right here? Oh my god! Alright, you're supposed to be homing. Alright, whatever. Meddling hippo. You pay for this. You Meddling hippo. You last to me. You showed that mole the way home. Here's your prize, Gloria. All right, but if he was just holding this shit here for us, like, couldn't we have already just, like... Bitch, help us! We saved your whole people, all right? Fucking help us! As you can see, we got Alex rings also. Um, I do want to get all of Gloria's stuff out of the way since we are her. So I'm going to just be, of like, not paying much mind to anything else. At the time, because I feel like this 
This level can tend to be pretty long, but it's really just as long as you decide to make it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, let's see what Julian has to say. Past the carrot garden, a little path leads down to a spread. Okay, that's Alex, okay? That's not, that's not our, what we want to do, alright? I want to do all the Gloria-related tasks. Oh, fuck. I... I'm afraid only the lion can carry the day. Get Alex. Oh, you're a bitch. So, like, everything is Alex-centric, I guess, over here. Can I not jump up now? Can I legit just not get back up if I'm Gloria? What was that? I heard, like, a terrifying noise. Gloria, can you reach? I can't. So I guess we are gonna use Alex then. Uh, we're gonna go against the order in which I wanted. But yeah, at any point you can just switch to whichever character you want. Alex, my friend. Yes, Gloria. I'd be glad to take over for you. So yeah, now we have more of the Queen Bee shenanigans over here. I guess we could just use oh. Alex. Oh, well, hello there again, my gigantic friend. So nice to see you. And unfortunately, though, tis not much else I can see as I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Glasses? You didn't have glasses last time I saw you, bitch. Help. Nice to see you again as well, and yes, I would be more than happy to help. Oh, of course you would. Such a nice boy you are. Now, I do have a strict order in which I must visit the various plants as their flowers reach full bloom. So pay close attention and be swift and sure with your guidance. First, we must go to the Crimson Crimsonian Oh, is she gonna actually, like, nearby. list out all of them? Alright, so now we're on, like, a time limit. Next to the blue, blue, blue plant. Fuck, I don't remember where any of this shit is. Alright. Now the limey green one. Okay, they'll appear. Where is Periwinkle? I must have Periwinkle. You know, on to seafoam green. A lot like Periwinkle. Ooh, I like seafoam green. Light! I don't think that she'll sting us, because she's... Oh, you gotta be fucking with my butt right now. Come on, come on, I don't want to start over. I don't want to start over. Why does it start going faster when we get to the end? Get the green! Only a couple more to go. Oh, and what? The wondrously rare gray plant. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna... Oh, what? The time just reset itself? Okay, okay, sure. Uh, the wondrously, wondrously gray plant. the dark black plant, as black as coal. I wish I knew where that was. Um, is it up here? No. Black? Black plant. Black plant. Anybody got a black plant? I don't remember this being this hard. Where's the black plant? Black plant! Black plant! Fuck. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. That was oh. actually some flavor oh. text, I'm sure. Find the flowers. Oh, well. Yeah, like, you really wanted to hear what this fucking fat bee had to say. If you want to hear what this bitch had to say, fucking play Mario Galaxy. Or play Mario Kart for some reason, as she's a driver for some fucking reason. Not this specific lady, but, uh... Alright. I remember the... I think I remember the black one being, like, up on top. Aren't these all wondrously rare? I've never seen these plants, ever. And finally, the dark black plant, as black as coal. Alright, I think it's up here. Yes! And more Alex stuff is up here, apparently. And there we go. A honey of a job. A honey of a job. And there we go. Bum -da -bum 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 -bum. I love that that success music. I really do. Um, and I suppose while we are here in this vicinity... Alex, I believe, has the most ones here. Uh, but that I'll explain why later why that is the case. The cave onions ripen. Harvest them quickly or the spiders will get them first. Spiders? We will be needing many cave onions for the marvelous, savory, fried, blossom spectacular. That's you know, that really does sound like Cedric the Entertainer. The season doesn't last that long. His voice sounds like very, like, like, powerful. Alright, now I think right here is my least favorite one. Oh yeah, we gotta collect them when they turn white. But when they do turn white, that's when the spiders come. And apparently the spiders can speak to us now. 
All right, but yeah, this is this was the one I didn't. Uh, this is the one I don't really like because obviously it involves spiders. All they have is fruit. Well, you don't win friends with cave onions, people. So yeah, now you hear Alex sort of complaining about the food selection here. Ooh, I wonder why. I mean, have you seen the movie? Then you should know. Onion, onion, onion. Oh fuck, no! All right, can they get one? All right, well, they did get one, unfortunately. We only need to save 20 of them. As you can imagine, though... Oh, come the fuck on! I don't remember the platforming in this game being, like, garbage level. All right, one of them also got... Get the fucking onion! Does everybody on this island eat fruit? Doesn't anyone want a juicy porterhouse? Yes, I could go for a juicy porterhouse right about now, Alex. I got that one! You're sucking the meats! The meats! How am I missing them? What the fuck? I like how these spiders can burp. Alright, there's one down here. Alright, just need these two more. Oh fuck, oh fuck. You got him, get it. Give me that. Give me the onion! There we go. Success. You've collected Jeez. enough cave onions for marvelous savory fried blossom spectacular. Marvelously no, savored no, blossom! Days. Juicy sweet! Juicy sweet! Juicy, juicy sweet. sweet! Juicy sweet! Juicy it's sweet! A bit too happy. Onions are not juicy and they are certainly not fucking sweet. That's legit a blooming onion. Wow. We that like legitimately that's a blooming onion. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, very quickly, I just want to see if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else over here. So we can say, fuck out of here with the fucking cave onion shit. I hate spiders in this game, and truthfully, I hate onions. So, uh, very good combination for me. Thankfully, we don't have to do that anymore. Bum, 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 bum. But since we are Alex now instead of Gloria, I guess we could try and do any of the Alex-centric ones. people to collect this food for us! This, Alex, that's true, but, you know, since you're only thinking about the fucking zoo right now, you know, just deal with, deal with the circumstances that, you know, are, are happening here, Alex, okay? I don't believe there are any, any other, like, take us to the flowers sections in this level. I don't, I think that's all that we have to do with the queen. Um, but yeah. Also, you can bounce on these things if you want. I believe this is how we're supposed to get that, is just you jump up here with Alex. Oh, come on. Alright, is that- I heard someone say, You. Like, I've heard that twice now. So yeah, we just score the pineapple from that tree right there. It's an unofficial Alex one that we can get. A lot of these, like, collectibles and shit in this level are, like, unofficially related to Alex. Um, but King Julian will tell you about all of them. Right now, we got a mudslide here, and as you can see, there's a little bit of something up there. But I believe there was another Alex-centric uh, mission, and I believe it was up there, wasn't it? Or was that just where we came from? Uh, no, the Alex one was in Gloria's area. Actually, Don't step I think. On me. I'm not really into this whole. Get Don't step on me! I'll shit on you. Oh, but we got more of these uh, ringy ring rings here. Yeah. So just make sure to go through every area that you can with Alex. Wait, did I not get the red ring? I'm, I'm almost certain that I did. Alright, but now we go into here, and I think this is my, uh, actually favorite one to do. Um, but, yeah, because of the bouncy nature of it. This is the Mushroom Cafe. Um, because instead of onions, we have mushrooms. Alright, whenever you're ready, you could use uh, the X button over there to talk to King Julian, man! And... You might already kind of get what is about to happen. I mean... It's a licensed game. They were running low on ideas, I'm sure. So... When in doubt... Uh... Simon is the idea. Alright, where's that fucking ring? I wish the camera would help me. Also, if you hit R, you can kind of get an update on your uh, goals. Oh, cool. And yeah, so without further ado, let's do the Simon. I wish to direct your attention to the mushroom you see growing here. 
quite a delicacy in the day. The, the mushroom that I see growing here. Mm. Of course, you know they're quite rare and grow I think that's the same guy that voices Marty. Conditions. He is the same inflection, sort of like this. For the mushroom to grow. Repeat. You must repeat that colorful pattern for the mushy mushroom to grow. That's not what I meant. I mean, this game seems familiar somehow. <laughs> I assure you, this is no game, my uncultured friend. This, uncultured. this is art. Fine, let's get going. So yeah, at least he acknowledges that this is straight up Simon. Do oh, and it starts going. with three already? Fast in your vigilance. Yeah, I think there's an unofficial time limit. I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. That's simply how life works. <laughs> That's simply how life works. That's fantastic. I apologize for not being of more assistance, but this is simply something you must do by yourself. What? Oh, I thought it was I thought it was red for a second. At least you can fall and be okay with it. Would love okay. to help, but it's just not doable. Oh, fuck. Yellow. No! Son of a bitch! I wish to I slipped! The mushroom fuck you! Red, green, yellow. I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. Green. Yellow. Red, green, yellow, blue. Okay. Do keep going. Red. Steadfast in your green. Yellow. Blue. You know, at least this is more fun than fucking Simon and Among Us. Would love to help, but it's Red, just not doable. Green, yellow, blue, red. Yes. Wait, it glows. It glows when that's the next one we have to do. Red, green, yellow, blue, red, green. I apologize for not being Red, resistance, but this is simply green, something you must do by yourself. Yellow, blue, red. Green. Brilliantly executed. And that's it. Now grab that mushroom and you will be in for a real treat indeed. Indeed, you will love the mushy mushness. Can this make me grow in size? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, just fucking dilate the shit out of your pupils. But yeah, you can hop on any of this stuff if you want. It's actually pretty fun. Um, but yeah, can I find the exit though? I swear, they, they really had an issue with, like, the darkness in some of these places being a little bit too much. But anyway, I think that's actually all that, uh, Alex's challenges are, uh, you know, I think those are all of his challenges. I mean, there are obviously more, uh... I guess this is the wild. whoop de frickin do He said frickin' too in this game. Is this... I think this game's rated E10. I was gonna say, damn, Alec. Okay, just throw that, sure. I think that mudslide we either have to do is Alex or Marty. Um, oh, there's the red thing. Oh yeah, and you can bounce even the, uh, the, the mission, the mission, the, the, the stuff we get from the missions. Um, okay, I think this is the next area. Before I go and, oh, more cockroaches, great. Noogie. Oh, we can't get into that area without Gloria. To grow this fruit around here. All right, so let's switch back to Gloria. We could switch to Melman, but I don't wanna. Hey, Gloria! Looking High five. Good. Oh. Looking good. Oh, you. That's right, Gloria. He wants some of that hippo ass. Ew. Oh God, I hate that noise. Um, excuse me. Uh, get the get the wall. Get the wall, Gloria. Get the wall. Yeah. Oh boy, this, here we go ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the most annoying, annoying characters. Me at any time. Thank you for, for letting me know that, Gloria. Say, is that one of the most annoying doing? characters oh, in the game. I'm just trying to get this fruit in. This is Wilbur, not this oh, person. Be still, my foolish heart. <laughs> His voice sounds familiar. I'm Wilbur, and you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. 
Because, you know, every fucking deserted island needs a wild boar. Oh, please. You've got a much better chance of picking up the fruit, and that's not looking too good. Oof. Well, I, uh, Roasted. I, I, I just, uh, can't lift that much right now because I, mean, he I injured complimented you earlier doing, uh, something really impressive. This Say, guy's voice. I really need to know who the voice is melons I need to make my famous melon tort. And what's in it for me? Well, I could make you some to bring back for your grand. Well, I, you know, my name is actually uh, a Kermit the Frog oh, here. Okay, great. And I you could, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you're you gonna introduce you to Steve Martin. Yay! And I only believe in using fresh fruit. So yeah. So now, uh, I hate these fucking missions, as Gloria. So you have to destroy all these melons, and you have to do it in within the time period that this ass crack allows you to do it. You can use your tumble attack just as well as your. Uh... Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Why does he say it like that? Oh my god. All right. Uh, you can't obviously just rely on your tumble attack though. You have to use the chili. Now we're talking. That's what I just said. When or when did we stop talking? You talking? No. Had a girl. This guy is just ugh. The creep of the creep creep shack is what I call him. Cause he's now the creep. Got it working. Like you just hear the way he's talking. This man is the creepy creepington. Oh, come on. Oh, it's the last one. Last one's over there. Last one's over here. Wait, where is it? Oh fuck. Too late. Well, they'll probably take another day to ripen. Or a few seconds. Come back later and we'll try again. Or a few seconds. Oh, jeez. That's great, isn't You're it? back. Let's try again quickly. The fruits are ripening. Yep, as they all just randomly appear after we destroyed all of them. But yeah. This could be the area where the control for the, uh, fuck. The control for the fuck, yes. The control for the, uh... Gloria running around can get quite annoying. But at least we don't have to worry about listening to the same repeated, like, that we had to do before in the first two levels that we used Gloria in. Okay, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Give me that. Come on. Give me that. Alright, alright. And. Come on. I'm trying to use the chili pepper. And it's red hot. Why am I banging off the walls? These walls! My... Oh! Yeah, I don't think we're getting it this time either. Alright. Oh. Oh, that's it! The last one! Yes! Wow. Oh, that was like poetry in motion. We should get together on another date again. That's the Hardy Boys move. Another date, Wilbur. Yes. But now I have to start making that melon tort I promised. Catch you Melon later. port? What exactly is a melon? Oh, melon tart, not melon port. I gotta tell you, I'm not really a fan of the things that we're making here. I'd probably be in the same boat as Alex, but I wouldn't be trying to... Uh, spoilers. Never mind. Um, and now, I believe that's all of the uh, things that we need Gloria for. Yeah, that's pretty much all that Gloria is required for. So with that, let's switch back to Alex. So we can Go get on, these rings. Embrace which I your mean. inner beast. Consider it embraced. Embrace your inner beast. Have you seen the movie, Gloria? Do you really want him to do that? All right. Well, now instead of uh, you know, oh, we just have seaweed. But, um, apparently that was one that we could just get. Fuck you. Fuck you, you stupid tortoises. Yeah. Now we have tortoises as enemies, cause you know, well, why not? I wonder if it was just in the clam. Yeah, it was. Wait, how many times could we roar to get fucking stuff? Is it just like the lockers? Oh, jeez. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it, my friend. This fruit may be huge, but it doesn't make it any more appetizing. Giant steaks, however, would be quite welcome. So yeah, at least Alex, like, they, they progressively, Alex gets more, like, you know, like into the food, like, I mean, not into the food, rather, the opposite of being into the food. He gets more, like, uh, like, he goes through withdrawal, which is, uh, actually kind of funny, if you, if you know me right now. I might have to edit that out, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Fuck it. Maybe I don't. 
maybe that's a little insider that I'll keep you in. I'll keep you in right there. Oh come on! I hate that these things take so long for them to float back down to the bottom. And yeah, these these turtles will just fucking launch themselves into you, and you can't really do anything about it if you don't see them already. Um, but I, how are there more rings? I don't understand. Oh, there's one up there. That might be the last one. What is with the weird slope? Okay, okay, okay. So if you go up the slope and you do a jump, you either jump really high or don't at all. If they just spent a little bit more time working on this game, you could perhaps see the uh, success in perhaps fixing the collision detection. Um, and yet still, that wasn't all of the rings that we need. Fantastic. But now our friend Maurice is here! Oh, come on, don't fall. Don't let me fall. I was up so high, up and up in the sky. Don't let me fall. I was aiming for fruits on a Saturday evening. They say what goes up must come down. Don't let me fall off the charts like B.O.B. did. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, honestly, if this game was more of, like, a collect-a-thon, I feel like it actually could have been, you know, better. Um, granted, there are some instances of non-collect-a-thon levels in this game that do feature some aspects of collect a thon -ing. But, uh, perhaps, you know, that it's just... It's not to the extent that is this one. This is just an open-ended collect-a-thon level. Now, you might be like, oh, how are we supposed to get that one? Ooh, that's, that's a crazy thing, huh? Um, well, uh, elementary, my dear, uh, Watson, or whatever the fuck you're, who are you that's watching this? As you go down the mudslides, see if you can pick up any fruit along the way. So yeah, the mudslides do hold, uh, well, uh, well-meaning fruit for us to get. Um, so yeah, just remember to, like, inspect every aspect of this level. Whee! This is actually pretty fun. And then there you go. That is the fruit of our labor. Whatever the fuck that is. And I believe we only need two more fruits. Um, but there it is! I was gonna say, where the fuck is the other rings? It's like they're just hanging right above me, and I have to wait for them to come on down. Come on. Okay, wait a minute. How am I... Is there a way to get up there? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That... Alright, come on. Oh, that should have counted. That should have counted. Oh, come the fuck. Onus. Alright, let's... Let's... Camera. Camera. Camera! Okay. Fuck. Alright, there has to be a... A way for us to get up there. Surely there's a way. Alright, as soon as we see it go into frame... No, it's not... Oh, fuck. Well, uh... Uh, Alright, just the mudslide is over there, so like there's no way of it reaching here. And that's how low it goes. I wish we could tilt the camera up more so. Nope. Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to get that one. Um I don't want to, like, save it to the end of the level, because, uh, you know, that would kind of defeat the purpose. Oh, perhaps if we climb up here. It's hard to tell what which one of these, like, areas are actually climbable, and what are just, like, part of, like, non-able-to-be-climbed space. Which is what I'm gonna call it, not-able-to-be-climbed space. If you don't like it, bop it a boopy. Am I supposed to use the momentum? Alright, I was actually really close to it just a second ago. Maybe I should just keep jumping and hope for the best. And there you go. And apparently that's still not all of them. Is there anything over back here? No, we can't go back there. Um, do we miss anything in the carrot patch? And you know what? We didn't actually go through here all the way. So maybe that we did miss one in the carrot patch. Alright, that's where Alex had to go. Why does everything have to be ridiculously oversized here in the wild? 
What's wrong with small fruit? Just, you know, I, I could make a joke about that, but, I mean, like, the joke there kind of writes itself. I mean, granted, that should be how comedy works in, you know, a video game or a certain form of media. Um, but yeah, um, I'm already seeing that this level is going to be a little bit long, so I think what we should do is we should just end it. I'm not going to keep looking for that. Her, big man. I don't exactly take it easy. Yes, have you not been paying attention to Melman uh, in this entire game? Well, yeah. Unfortunately, we only get to play as, like, Melman, like, a little bit in this level. Him and Marty only have one food apiece that they specifically can help us with. There was more stuff, though. Well, us little guys gotta eat too. Oh, fuck you, alright? Your little ass can ask nicely. And we go in here. Hello, it says Melman. Can Melman actually fit in here? Uh, and this is the Melman area. This is like the only thing that Melman can do. For some reason, someone who's so worried about everything in their life, apparently they, they're they fine with just head bashing shit. Because here, this is what we have to do. Hello, Mort! Melman! Thank the great Peapod you're here! The great you Pea? Can head bash. Oh, this is looking good! I'm afraid to ask. These cockroaches Me too. are trying to steal oh, no, the cockroaches for the Noogie Nut Noogie smoothies. Noogie? I need to get rid of them, but I'm are too Noogie small. Nuts actually real? Oh, those roaches make me so mad I could just squeeze them really hard and yell at them. Ah! Those roaches Why would eat Alex you more. Do it? Well, the other New York Giants scare them off only temporarily, so then they come back. But you, you can help. See, the cockroaches aren't afraid of you because you're afraid of them. But if you gather what courage you have, you can <laughs> That's wait terrible. for them to come and then hit them. Are roaches actually yeah! like that? You said it though. I'm scared of them. Then you oh, can fuck. stand I'm gonna get, I'm gonna in the feel middle fucking of the gross just doing smell. this. They'll form a kind of protective barrier. So yeah, yeah remember it. how earlier That's we right, played whack-a-ball? the roaches when they come for the noogie nuts. Ha! Now it's That'll like work. more That's like secure nice. whack-a-ball. Well, you do want Noogie Nut Noogie Smoothies, don't you? They're really, really good! Alright, I'll do it. Yes, yeah, so we want this food that we've never had before. Apparently, we're gonna love. So we need to smash 15 uh, roaches. I don't know exactly what causes us to fail. I think we just need to smash them within the time. It doesn't really matter if they take one or not. The, the goal is simply here is to smash them. Noogie, noogie, noogie! I like how these fucking cockroaches have voices, though. Their voices are pretty funny. Pretty amusing. You know, hearing their voices in my ear, though, it, like, it just, you know, increases the, uh, the annoying or creep-centric nature of them. Okay, why does this one have the fucking horn attached to it, and the other ones just don't whatsoever? Alright, well, that's the only Melman thing that we can do, believe it or not, in this entire level. Uh, I did say I didn't want to look for the, uh, the rings, but I am very perplexed as to where it could have gone. I mean, not that it could have gone anywhere, I mean, just, like, in general. Where the fuck are the rings, man? Ah, whatever. Alright, get the fuck down, Melman, come on. Now let us switch to Marty, because Marty be needing some cards. Hi, Marty. I gotta go to my happy place That now. sounds like a great idea, Melman. <laughs> he didn't even let him finish. What a scum diddly um. Um, but here we have two power cards for Marty. We can only get the, uh, the last one. Oh, wait. I just noticed something. There seems to be yet another mound of dirt over here. Where does this lead to? You know what, wait. I think this is where that last ring... I, I have a feeling... This is where the last ring is, because I don't remember where that one goes. So very quickly, before I finish off with the cat, Marty the Zebra. You know it's me, baby. Wait, is that it over there? Oh no, it's just a tree. Alright, and that's the Marty mission that we need to do. But over here, I, I, I don't see any other reason for this to be than to be a ring. Oh, some gold coins. I wonder if that's how you get the last ring, if, if I was just wasting my fucking time over there. I just want to see. 
I'll cut if I don't find it. Couldn't find the ring, aka got bored. Um, the last thing that we have to do is get Marty's... I already did step on you and I enjoyed it. The last thing that we have to get is the power card, and then we can finally do Marty's last skill. The long jump! Why can a zebra do a long jump? That's a really good question. Too bad no one ever explains it. Um, not this way. Apparently this is just one big tree. But yeah, we go through here. That's a, it's a nice, easy way to, like, get around. Like, they, they make Marty, like, sort of, like, the second most... Uh, I, I mean, I guess he would be the most maneuverable character at this point, since, seeing as how he has, you know, that that jump in addition to the, uh, in addition to the slide thing that he does. Alright, but now you see the true purpose for that coin is not for Alex, not for Melman, but for, rather, Marty. And I love that it didn't do it. So yeah, you have to hit AA, like, right away. If you hit A and then hit A again, it will not work the way that you would like. Alright. Come on. And yeah, this is kind of what the mission that we're going to be doing amounts to. Um, but I still can't make it over there? Ugh, okay, we're going to cut again until I get it. You know what? Nope, I can't reach it. Not gonna bother. Done. Done. Done with that. Done with that. Used to talk. Let's go. Yeah. So wish to uh. take me to a jumping contest, do ya? I do. You can jump farther than me, can ya? Oh yeah, I do. Think about a jumping contest. You stupid fucking toad. Yeah. 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 Although, now that you mention it, yes, I guess I do think I can jump farther than you. Ah. Well, uh -huh. how's about we make a little contest out of it? Uh huh. If you can out jump, uh -huh. I'll give you some of my frog fruit. Makes for a great gift, it does. And of course, if I win, I'd say a few words designed and intended to humiliate you. Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Let's see what you got, little frog. That's hilarious. <laughs> Is that the, just how he sounds? So yeah, we have to just jump further than him. So, I might have underestimated you, Zebra. You got Moxie, I'll give you that, I will. Moxley? But that was only the first John? jump it was. Let's see if you make the next one. <laughs> All right, just oh, I want to let you in on a little secret, my friend. You still haven't seen my best jump yet. Been going easy Wait. on your half. Got a feeling Wait, that's I... about to change, though. That was successful. <laughs> um, we definitely didn't make that, but what it means, like I guess, rather than out jump the frog, it means just make it to where he was. Looks oh. like your luck has finally run out. It has. It you did, can keep yeah. Trying, but I can't say as you've got much chance on this day. So, you back for another try, are ya? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the best jump around these parts. I don't expect you'll have much more luck than you did This guy's last voice, time. man. It's fucking very humorous. What is with that sound effect? All right, well, every so, every time it'll be the same places, so you can just skip through it. That I'll time I out-jumped him. All right, and for the piece de resistance, oh, yeah. we won. There we go. Looks like I've misjudged you, stranger. You got some real legs on you. Uh-huh. Probably just yeah. have a bit of frog fruit. We needed some uh, card steroids to help us. I don't know exactly what the fuck frog fruit is, but whatever it is, we got it now. As long as it's not fucking disgusting ass frog legs. Thank you, New York Giants, for helping us to find all the ingredients. Sorry, fuck the Jets. What we will be providing for you at our super special and amazing banquet. In exchange for your help, we would like to give you a. Banquet! The key to the jungle. We don't have a door to the jungle, much less a key. Well, what can we give them to- Mauricio, do not defy the king! I will feed you to the fusas! You know that key to the jungle thing, it gets sold! And what good would it do you anyway? I've changed my mind. I am in fact going to offer you lots and lots of food from our banquet! Oh yes, very much! Thank you so much! Right. I mean, we collected the food. Shouldn't we have gotten to eat the food? I, I don't know. But yeah, there is the first collect-a-thon level. In the next level, we complete my trifecta of not really liking levels in this game. 
with Coming of Age. Oh boy. So, uh, as you can no doubt tell by the way Alex was talking, you might know what this one will be about. Uh, not the Ice Age, thankfully. <laughs> That's Blue Sky Studios. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Jungle Banquet. In the next episode, you'll come of the age. So see you guys then. Peace. I left at least one of those lemurs behind. Gotta go back and try to find him. Wait, is it... Oh, I was, I was gonna say, does it warp me to the, the here? But no, here's the checkpoint. I hope that it doesn't, like, send me back if I do fuck up. Just like my wife. Oh, no. No! Ah! Yeah, somehow the lemurs just dissipate from our ear or head or whatever. And now we can reuse this as a checkpoint. As you can tell by the penguin save icon. <laughs>